Hi, welcome back to Fountain of Youth TV and just got home from school and we're going to do another cooking edition. Tonight we're going to be making roasted vegetables with tofu. Um, if you are a meat eater, you could add chicken or turkey or uh, even fish if, if you prefer that. But um, because I can't eat meat because I get migraines from, from that, I do tofu. So we'll be, I'll show you that in case it's something you might want to try because it is really good. So we're going to step over here so we can take a look at the kind of vegetables we're going to roast tonight. We're going to start with uh, rock style beef, washing them off, and then we're going to cut them in, into good, you know, good bite-sized pieces, hearty pieces. So some sweet, or, all of these are organic, sweet potatoes, some purple sweet potatoes, some nice beautiful red purple cabbage, peppers, rare to find, but I did find them at Green Planet, uh, some organic Brussels sprouts, beautiful red or purple onion, zucchini, and some um, cauliflower. Quickly, I just want to talk about um, washing and preparing, because I, I don't know what, what everyone's philosophy is, but um, what I like to do is, you know, thinking about all the people who are going through the produce every day and touching them, and you know, there's all, so many people sick and, you know, the viruses that are out there. So what I do is I make up my own vegetable rinse, better vegetable wash, and it's with a great product. Uh, it's all natural, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. This is the peppermint, and I fill this mostly about to, about to here, and then just top it off with a little bit of this, and it's the perfect consistency, and it really washes so nice, and there's no chemicals, a residue that's gonna stay on it, and it's just a great vegetable wash. Sometimes if I think, like with uh, certain ones, I might even take a diluted version of hydrogen peroxide and then wash that on. It's, it's perfectly healthy. Just rinse it off. And it, goes, it just takes anything that you possibly may think of the residue off. So just keep it simple. You don't have to go out and buy these expensive things. It's really cheap. So I'm going to wash them first, rinse them well, and then we'll dice them. And Rox and I will get right back to you and we'll show you how to prepare our roasted vegetables. Now we're back. We've done all the slicing and dicing and getting everything prepared. So I'll kind of give you a quick tour of what we have done so far. So here is the fabulous platter of what will be roasted vegetables. Look how beautiful. So you've got your beautiful, look how gorgeous these are. Those are the purple sweet potatoes. The regular, typical everyday sweet potatoes. You've got your zucchini, green and red peppers. You've got your purple cabbage and the purple onions are here, Brussels sprouts. It, it's just it, just a smell, you know, there's nothing on them yet. It just is really, really nice. I like to multitask because working full time, we're always so busy. So what we did at the same time of making this, we were also taking some of it and putting it into another platter. So this will be raw. This will be um, used for lunches throughout the week because remember, in the nutritarian diet, we try to do 50-50, half raw, half cooked, lightly steamed or baked, whatever that would, you know, however you might prefer it. I also work on my salad because I want to have a huge salad every day, at least one salad. My salad is so huge, it's probably enough for three people because I just love greens and all the vegetables. So I took some of the raw, on, the on, raw onions would be fabulous, part of the G-bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, seeds, and nuts. That's the G-bombs you want to live by, hopefully, every day if possible. If you can put, incorporate those into your diet. Um, just the more we can have in our diet, the more nutrients you're getting, and the stronger your body becomes to be able to fight off disease and uh, just things that are ailing us. It, it stops inflammation. I, I mean, I, I can't tell you all the benefits, but you'll, as we go through the various videos, through the series, you'll learn more and more, and it's just... It's fabulous. So I'm trying I'm really getting a lot of things done. I'm making my salad for dinner, vegetables for the week, and then at the same time, I'm also preparing my lunch for tomorrow. So as I'm 
you'll see as we're going, you'll, you'll see me keep putting things into the bowl, which will end up being my lunch for tomorrow at school. So I'm getting a lot of things done. This is enough for the whole week. So it, I, and I do like to eat a lot of these cold. Some of this will actually become part of my lunch. There is nothing like cold roasted Brussels sprouts. Rox is making an awful face, but it's just, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. So here's what I'm gonna put on it. I'm not really, you know, I really don't think oil is really good. It's, it's not a whole food. It's been processed, so you're getting just basically fat. So I'm only gonna use a very small amount of oil just so that it doesn't stick, but a very little bit of oil, a very little bit. So that goes in my measuring cup and not much. And again, I don't really measure, but you can see there's not really much in there. And that's gonna help to coat everything in there. Then I'm gonna take my favorite balsamic vinegar is the Newman's Own Organic. Fabulous flavor. I use that in a lot of things. So I use a lot of this. And this is a the flavor that it gives, the, the vegetables, so good. But the vegetables themselves just have an unbelievable flavor when they're roasted. Okay. And then I also add spring water. It's like the tonic of life. Living water. And that helps to keep everything moist as well. So you can see, it's a good amount of liquid, but it's also a really good amount of vegetables we've got. So I'm gonna screw that up. Okay. And then I just pour this, drizzle this over the top. And this helps to kind of steam it as well, but just so it doesn't dry out too. Don't want our vegetables drying out, we want them to still be moist. And then I just lightly toss them. So everything's been coated nicely. Okay, and then add a little bit of spice to them. I do love my spices. Again, those are just so beneficial for our bodies as well. Always, I love my garlic. You could even put some clove, roasted clove, uh, cloves of the garlic in here as well, and they're good too. If I take organic garlic powder, since I don't cook with salt, put this in the smell. Oh, again, smell a vision. I use organic onion powder as well, even though there's onion in it, but it's still good. Just a very, just a little hint of it. These are my essentials. These are the ones that I use. I, I just love spices. This one right here, this is oregano. And some basil. Ground black pepper. Some parsley. some thyme, parsley and thyme. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Another great tune from our youth. So that's ready. And then, before I put that in, when I come over here, Rox, this is my tofu. So I, what I've done is I've pressed it out, gotten all the liquid out of it, and then I've added a little bit of balsamic vinegar because the, the tofu really doesn't have a lot of flavor. It takes on the flavor of whatever you add to it. And so I just put a little bit of, of, all of the um, Newman's Own balsamic. Then I take my favorite salsa, which again is Field Day Organics. It's just, it's just such a great product. It's no salt, no sugar, it's, and it's got cilantro. It, what a, it's a powerful flavor, just really fabulous. So I just take this, saving us time, and just put it on the top. Not much is really needed. And then just kind of smooth it out. Okay. And now everything's gonna go into the oven. It's gonna cook while I go down and work out. So I'll go change, I'll go down and work out, and in between sets, I'll come back upstairs, 
toss this a little bit, flip this, and by the time I'm done working out, dinner will be ready. I'll make a salad and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. And I, hopefully one day you'll be able to try this. So we'll get back to you. I'm going down to work out. Back from exercising. And now the smell permeating the house. It's just remarkable. It's like it's so fabulous. Let's come on down here and I'll show you what I mean, what's happening in the oven. So I've come up in between sets, flipped the tofu. Looks fabulous. If you've never had it, you might just want to try it. This is a, a really flavorful, really, really, really flavorful. I'm just going to leave it in here because I still have to make my salad. But, and then look at the vegetables. Look how gorgeous they are. And they're still moist because of all the liquid, and I kept coming and turning them. Oh, it looks so heavenly, so delicious. And look at how the fork just goes through them. They're just oh, it's done to perfection. They've been in probably because I don't, some people like to, to do their uh, roasted vegetables at 400 degrees or something. I keep mine at 350 because usually when I'm doing this, I'm working out and I don't want them cooking too fast. So it gives me the ability to really get a full workout in, which is usually between an hour, hour and a half. So that's why I do the 350. It just works for me. Uh, so those I'm just going to turn the oven off because those are done and they're just going to stay warm while I make the salad. So come on over here and I'll show you what, we, what we've got. I go through a lot of salad. So I do the spring mix and the super greens and I kind of combine the two. Already got the onions in. So we'll put a carrot, some radishes, tomatoes, celery, um, avocado, so, and a cucumber. Forgot my cucumber. That will be the salad. And I'm going to prepare that and then I'll show you how I make my dressing. And at the same time I'm making my salad, I'll continue to keep adding to my bowl that's going to be for my lunch tomorrow at school. You can see I've already put the green and red peppers in. I've got a zucchini, some cauliflower, uh, red cabbage. So I'll show you what, how I'm, I'm just, again, multitasking. And we'll get right back to you once the salad's prepared. So the salad is all been prepared. Come over here, Ross. Look how beautiful. You'll notice that whenever I'm cooking, I try to make everything very colorful, uh, like a rainbow. So when you see the plate when we're done, when we go to sit down to eat, with all the vegetables and with a salad and everything, it's just, it's like looking at a rainbow. And that's part of eating is also what you see, visually what you see. And it just looks so beautiful. And you've got the beautiful fresh aroma of everything. And then of course, then you're just so ready to taste and it's it's just magnificent. So I'm hoping that maybe this, again, is inspiring you to try something different. Um, the salad's all full with all of the fabulous greens. Um, really G-bombs. Everything you're going to see here is all based on the G-bombs, a nutritarian philosophy. Here's my lunch, almost done for tomorrow. You can see I've got celery, carrots, all the things we talked about earlier, radishes, Mushrooms on top. Mushrooms are very important to have during the day. I cook those and just make it for enough for the whole week, so I just put a couple on there each day. Um, uh, cucumbers, again, cucumbers and celery, celery are great for hydration for your body, even for your skin. Um, just, just bowl full of nutrients. Then I also add the protein, either edamame. Edamame is, again, it's almost like eating popcorn. That's soy, the, the soybean itself, just so delicious. Um, but because I'm having tofu, I'm going to probably go with my, my big batch that I made over the weekend of there's black beans underneath and garbanzo beans. So I'll put those also in my, my lunch for tomorrow for my protein and, and that really is slow digesting so it gives me the energy all day. Um, and then I'll top it off for my fat and, and more protein. I'll also put a handful of walnuts, organic raw walnuts, and just a few Brazil nuts. They're the most dense of the nuts, but really high power food. So I just do like maybe two of those, and then a little handful of, of the walnuts. They are high in fat, but it's the good fat, and, um, and we do need fat because it helps us with our muscle. Uh, it just helps us with our tissue uh, in building um, all the cells in our bodies. We do need that, but good fat, not the bad fat. 
So that's really huge for my, for my daily intake. So that would be my lunch. And now let's just see how to make my salad dressing. I don't do any bottled salad dressing because again, they have preservatives um, and they may have sugar, salt, oils, just unnecessary calories. And also they're not the full whole food. We wanna eat the whole food. So I start off with my spices again. Garlic powder is big. And I don't measure, but I do do a lot of garlic powder. Antiviral, it's so good for our bodies. Onion powder. Not as much as the garlic, because I already have onions in the salad. Oregano and basil. Basically, almost the exact same spices that I did put in with the, um, the roasted vegetables. And then thyme and parsley. Then, the best part, I take the balsamic vinegar, Newman's oven. And then, and my favorite, even organic apples, raw apple cider vinegar. This is such a powerful, powerful uh, element to add to your diet each day. Um, as we get older, we lose the ability to, to produce acids in our body, in our stomach. And we don't produce it like we used to in our younger days. And then we wonder why we have indigestion and all of this going on. This helps to neutralize. This also helps to digest. Um, if there's parasites, I know that sounds awful, but if you have parasites, it's been known to even take eradicate that. For migraines, I mean, it's, I put it every day. I have a bit of this in my diet every day. Um, also, when you, when you eat, very important. I know this is going to sound bizarre, but not to add a beverage while you're eating. If you're going to have a beverage, try to drink it before. I, I usually drink water an hour, two hours before because I work out and I want to be hydrated while I'm working out. So I drink my huge amount of spring water then. And that's it. And then when I eat dinner, there isn't a liquid because think about it. When you're drinking a liquid, you're basically diluting the acid in your stomach. And so then when you go to, to digest your food, the acid isn't the full powerful potency that it would normally be. You may find if you stop drinking a beverage at dinner, that all of a sudden you're digesting really well and, and you sleep better. So just give that a try because at first it was kind of odd for me when I was trying it because it made sense to me. It's true, why would I be drinking milk or water or whatever it is? I'm diluting the acid in my stomach. And so once I stopped and I got used to the fact of not always taking a sip in between, now it's just, it's been years since I've had anything, beverage to drink during dinner. So I just, I, just, I, don't, I used to have the worst acid reflux, hyaluronia, it was awful. Waking up thinking of having a heart attack, nothing now. I feel remarkable, just so good. So think about that, it's very important to try to maybe take out a beverage. So I'm gonna add this, shake up, because there's the mother, the mother are the particulates, parts of the apple and so forth that's in there, really beneficial. So you shake it up. And I like a lot of vinegar. Some people say, oh, it's too much, but you know, it's just so good for your body. It's so good for your body. And then you toss this up. And then I'll add the avocado to it for the, for the good fat. And when you're eating greens, you wanna make sure you have some kind of a fat because it actually helps to absorb the, the micronutrients even better having a really good fat in there. I don't use olive oil, you notice there was no olive oil used. You don't need that. So I will add either this, and sometimes a great thing to add to it is a nut butter. Like, um, a, look at these. these are my favorite nut butters, tahini, which is sesame seeds, raw, that's been you know pulverized, again, like a pre-digested, and we know what seeds in the colon are like. Right, Ron? And, and then pumpkin seed butter and raw, pulverized and mashed into a beautiful butter and 
that's also great to add with the vinegar and, and the uh, balsamic and all spices. That's another good fat. And even at lunchtime, if I sometimes I just eat it just like this, but you can add this a little bit to dip things in, or even taking, um, even taking, watch this. I know you're probably gonna think this is bizarre, but organic tomato paste, my favorite brand. And this is so good when you put it on vegetables and it's so good for you in terms of the lycopene and, and just the antioxidants in tomatoes. So this is delicious. And instead of ketchup, this is what I use too. There's no salt, no sugar. It's just pure tomatoes. It's so delicious in glass. Um, so think about adding this instead of ketchup or um, you know other, other kind of condiments that you use when you're, when you're dipping uh, different things. Great to use, so delicious. Got a great flavor. So that's the sale, and that's what our dinner's gonna be, and we'll have you come back to the table when it's all served up. See you soon. Now we're at dinner, and everything's all prepared, and let's see how the plate looks. So rainbowish. And then I'll end, I always end with a salad. Some people say eat the salad first because then you get more full and you don't really eat it's, it's, then you won't eat as much here. But this is also high micronutrient that everything is good. But I always end with a salad because I just feel it kind of cleanses the system. You get the vinegar going. So it's really whatever's best for you, but notice there's no beverage. Um, and so we're almost ready. So I wanted to show you what our dessert's gonna be. So this is raw apple pie made with almonds, dates, cinnamon, nutmeg, spring water and the almonds and the dates make up the crust and also a little bit of the, the sauce that goes on the apples and you don't cook it, it's raw and it is so decadent, so delicious and don't you think it's one of the best pies you've ever had, don't you think? And be honest, don't you think? She's always said, Mom, that's one of the best pies ever. It's so delicious but it hasn't been cooked and full of micronutrients you're getting everything that you can imagine, but no sugar. The, the sweetness is from the dates and the apples and the cinnamon. It's just delicious. So that's what our dessert's going to be tonight, and I'll show you how to make that on another day. But thanks again for joining us. This is a bit lengthy, but it, it, it's a lot to talk about, and I'm trying to teach and teach about the nutritarian lifestyle. Again, nutritarianism can be as far as you want to take it. You can go to the point where I am at, where I'm really, I'm such a believer in this where I take it wholeheartedly and I jump right in and, but it just does amazing things to your body. It keeps you so young, it keeps your muscles really, you know, building when you work out and full of protein, full of um, good fats, full of calcium, magnesium, and everything that your body needs to stay op is optimum and really young and healthy. So I hope you've learned something new to add to your, your meals each day and to work with that, uh, maybe possibly working towards feeling better. But thanks for joining us again. We'd greatly appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. Remember, it's free. And tell your friends and family members about us. And, and please feel free to ask questions, post comments below uh, face, on our Facebook, message us. We're always here for you. And uh, remember our motto, take charge of your health destiny if the nutritarian way. And to give Rox a little plug, She's got a video YouTube channel, and it's Rox Knoll, and um, it's quite funny. She's quite a comedian, kind of comedian and um, she's awful fun and cute as a button. Thanks for all you do, Rox. I love you.